Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to. I decided to start a new series of City Skylines. I have like, I think this is like the fourth, fourth or fifth series that I'm starting on City Skylines. A couple of the series previously, cities. I already completed those or still a place where I decided that it's there's not much more that I can do for the city like in regards to transport and stuff so we are starting a new city hopefully I can make this into daily videos as the quarantine and stuff hopefully I can make it to daily videos of this city if not I'll let you guys know and most likely if I can make it to daily videos I'd put a um, tweet out on Twitter so be sure to follow me on Twitter you get notified if I actually decides to decide to make this a daily thing and yeah yeah don't mind that that always happens since the last update one of the mods kind of bugs out sometimes. I want my mods back on from the last time I recorded that episode. Uh, thinking on how to do this here. We don't have these roads yet, so let's go for these. I can do the classic roundabout that I usually do in my cities to start off. Um, uh, I think I should go for a bit further back with that. So we're going out 10. That should be a straight line. Up 10 units. I logged out a bit there. 180, 10 units. This mark, 180, 10. Should line up with that one. 180 and 10. To keep the wrong about stable, I waste a bit of money on this, but keep it from walking. That's the street. Just so that to keep the wrong about from um, it likes to warp when you add other road states. So, let's do that to keep it away from doing that. I have one way roads. Yeah. Forgot to put the wrong motor as a one way. Anyway. So if we get this there. Usually if I didn't put that road in the middle there it would warped. Would have warped into a kind of crazy shaped roundabout. Uh I'd upgrade these roads, yeah. So you put on these one-way arrows please because it's really hard to see those. Right. Um on how I want to do I have the EM road here yeah. I do Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so... Yeah, we'll use these avenues because they have... I realize one's clicked on. The avenues have two lanes on each side. So we'll just go 20 units on each side for now and then remove the stuff in the middle. That's 20 units, 100, $1,200 for 20 units of avenue. Yikes. <coughs> Alright, so that's the basic on starting up a city without with the least amount of traffic at the entrance. So now you delete these. And the perfect roundabout. To the whole wonky stuff. Let me just use move it here. So just to show you. Extend this. We don't pause the game in a sec. Let's just extend this here down to see to watch the amount of money I spend on roads. Extend this to about there. That yeah, should be good. And we're extending this one to the a thousand extend this one across to the border just before the border let's keep it on if level 40 mark so I'm probably turning to a bridge eventually but for now let's see like that and for fuck let's carry it down to there right you can see if ah uh, Right, let's get some roads in here and then start zoning. So for the starting off, we'd go 10 units away from the actual junction for the roundabout. Go 10. That's like 20 down. I didn't calculate how much that was across. And for the top part, this is where the residential view would go. Let's go 40. 40 units. Oh, 50. That's 60 units. Let's see if that here we'll eventually join that up with that. Um. Oh, that's not straight. Eventually join that up with the other save. Give us auto save there, give it a sec. And any moment now game. Yeah, auto save and while I'm recording this is very annoying. Right. right, so that makes up this would be the residential. I know you guys probably can't see my mouse, but this would be the residential area. I'm thinking of starting off going this direction on the grid style doing that on the this one here also and to change it up a bit in the middle we'll start going making parallel lengths There to there. So that's the start of the residential district. 
forgot to use the name of this city before I start going on that. And across here, I'll leave it like that for now, no more roads. Let's see. Start off, I will be going a bit extreme and going with one of those. Usually I start with the water towers, but the city let's start off. Uh, let's put that way out here on this side. That guy is on power source. The city will be powered by the coal generator for now. Let's see if we can find that in the middle there. Right now to run the water lines throughout the city. Okay, let's see if we can get this as neat as possible. Let's do there, let's snap to the road. Uh, nope, that's not snapping where I want it. Up, oh, right there. Ooh. They're running out of money. I have to unpause the game really quick. Okay, let's see if we can get this one at least across there. Yes. Only 4,000 left. Let's see if we can get. Some water down to the lower part of the residential district. Should be able to get one more in. And uh, yeah. We we'll have to limit that to the alone for now. A lot of money. So let's drop some zones. Residential for this one and half commercial right there. Not sure I put industrial on the other end there. I don't want to have anywhere that they can pull in close to the roundabout because that usually causes traffic. So the show will most likely either go over here or here. For now, I'd put a chunk of industrial across here. Up, oh, oh crap. Yeah, I sure will call good there. Time to pause and see the city grow. Speed up the time a bit. The first residents starting to pop in so far from the actual power source. Hopefully we have some commercial popping up too so that we get a c connected to the power grid. If not Come on, commercial. Yeah, we have some commercial demand. Right, we have some popping up there. Now we have some industrial demand, which should hopefully pop up some industrial right there. Connect them to the power grid as soon as possible. I don't want to waste in putting on poles, which I don't even have money for right now, so I just need them to connect themselves. Okay, that's close. Come on. Right, they're connected. Whew. <laughs> Uh, that was a bit of a guessing game if they would connect. If they would connect soon enough. Alright, so we have a little city here. We have a huge demand for um, industrial, though I have no money to put on pipes, so you guys will have to be doing it all pipes for a while. I can in fact put down some more industrial zone in on this side just for now on that side of the
No bridges most likely gonna go across there. Well right now in a minus I have to raise the taxes right now. But I can't reach taxes yet, I have to reach a higher population. Right, we're in a positive. Ooh. And we just got money from the milestone. Uh, not just relief. So let's put down the water. Let's fast forward the game again. This one down here. Try not to waste the money on pipes too much. So far, so good. We have um, garbage, so we'd have to put one of these in. Don't want it too close to the city. Let's drop it. And I have the pollution stuff off. And a drop a school. Let's coach one right in there. And we're almost out of money already. <laughs> As fast. So we can't drop healthcare yet. We have to wait a good while before we can drop the um, healthcare. How much is a health center? Medical center clinic. Ten dollars in cheese and ages. All right, in the mind for industrial, so we probably would want to move industrial to across here eventually, but for now. Let's stick with the plan to let's check on our roads. Do we have no we have no highway. When are we unlocking the two lane the highways? At uh, two thousand. Oh jeez. Oh my god, you have to wait quite till two thousand to unlock highways. It's gonna be an interesting issue for traffic. I said, can we raise, oh, never mind about the raising taxes, I just, yeah, we can raise taxes, but just realize our income is growing really fast, so we don't really need to <coughs> raise the taxes. And there we go. We have enough to drop, oh my lord. Drop a healthcare center. Oh, I spot them. Uh, not want to bulldoze that, but... Uh, Gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, let's drop this one time while we have the money. Fire. And we have to wait a while before we get enough <coughs> cash to buy the police station. I should have to cut first. Auto save there. Eh? Every demand for residential. So, by the way, we're waiting on the cash to build up. Oh, wrong button. Let's go back into building the roads. Let's go out. 20 units. Up all the way to the top here. And back in 20 units. Up. All the way back here. Okay. We're gonna do, we're gonna have a road in the middle. And that's gonna be a bit more residential. 
Wow, they just popped in there as soon as I dropped the zone. Huge demand for residential. I dropped them some water. Okay, don't forget to drop them some water. Right, so to do that let's extend I think it's I think it's time to extend this road out to there and finally connect it to here. Right now that <coughs> oh my lord <coughs> just past one thousand population one thousand two should have enough for police station do we do we do we have enough no twelve thousand so you know love on building for a while let's just watch this city grow a bit might want I'm thinking of like having more game dash rules like having more industries on this side well we have the money let's just buy the police station one time because we have a bit of a need for that right now And let's check on education. We don't have enough to build a high school right now, but soon we would. What is a high school? A high school is 24. Do we have any demand for elementary? Yes, we do. We need to build another elementary school right there. Fit perfectly there without bulldozing any other buildings. Alright, so the plan right now is to come across here. It's almost. Let's come across here and uh, start working on getting the industrial district moved across to the side. So we're going out 20, going on full distance, and connecting. Run the road straight down the middle. See about the water lines. Let's do all of that right now. Let's get that in there. Right, so that's a perfect square. We're moving all the well. We leave the ones that's across there for now. But we're just putting the industrial mostly across here so not there for now I don't want any industrial there when we get officers I'll see if I can put that there I don't want it too close to the roundabout to cause a issue with the junction uh, no Let's put commercial on that side You know what? I'll leave that one blank. Let's put commercial too close to the roundabout. Commercial there. Have a demand for residential again. So I have to deal with that just in a sec. That's right. Let's deal with the demand for residential now. So we're gonna do the same grid style pattern. Uh, this time we're going to go down 2 T units uh, 
I'm out of money. Yikes. So we can start to zone in on this. Let's see how much does it take to run that road down the middle. I may have to build some of those houses, but... 2004. I have just enough to run another road up. Gotta wait a while and we should have enough to run some water lines. Four. Yikes, I may have to run an extra line up here. Well, at least we have some residential coming in. Let's put some more zone in for residential, fill up the spaces. Extend the commercial on that side. See if we can get it. Let me see if we can get a oh, frick man. My mouse is giving me trouble, give me a sec. Let's see if we can get it to this junction here. And that's as far as they go. I don't want them on the roundabout. We are at 2000 next mile, so we'll be actually finally changing the. Oh, oh, frick, I forgot about that, man. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I forgot to actually give these guys power. So let's run this. Yes. They have water, but they don't have power. How silly could I be? Run across there, they should have power now. Oh, we have to run power to the industrial district. There's only one building got abandoned. That would automatically bulldoze itself. Yep, there it is, it's gone. Power, so we still have an issue for power. Since, since this is an industrial... 19. And there it is. I was just gonna say 19,000. We need to get one of these and we got the milestone which gave us some money to actually put down that. We have the 24 to put down the high school. I was waiting on. Uh, let's put the high school there. And we're set. The last thing to do before we wrap up the episode, guys, is to upgrade the runway. No, I said runway. Upgrade the roundabout. <laughs> upgrade the roundabout to a two-lane highway. Preferably with barriers, but no. That's a bit more expensive. Uh, upgrade. Put him over there. Seriously? Are you kidding me? I'm just... Oh my lord. I, I forgot. I had to just move it here. This one should be good. Still! Yeah, the one better not give me trouble like that one. Oh, frick. Frick. Yes, yeah, so as an access you when you use move it, you can't upgrade. So you better upgrade before you use move it. Otherwise you have to move it back and then use it again. 
Right, so those are set. Let's just use move it to the move it mod here to readjust our curve. And now we're gonna use the traffic manager mod just to set up the lanes. On the roundabout to go. Outer lane always only that way. Only that way. Doesn't matter. Only that way. I could do the full lane mathematics stuff with the whole lanes and which lane goes into which lane, but for now let's just leave it like that and pause. Traffic kind of got confused there. All right, so yeah. Oh, right. That's. I'm going to show you a shortcut for that. Right, so those guys, I'm removing the arm. Um, this one can stay just so. I don't want to really go with that far up. Alright, so let's see what just before I wrap up the episode, what we need for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six thousand population, should we have to deal with the garbage pile up? But in that time. Hopefully we can deal with that. Alright guys, so that would be the end of this episode of City Sky, this new City Skyline series. Hopefully, I see you guys tomorrow for another episode where we continue building the city up. Hopefully, we fill, we'll most likely try to fill this building square before we move on to another section. Hopefully, I have the 81 tiles mod installed, so we can, in fact, unlock the whole map and build to our heart's content. As I did with the City Skyline series, I'd put a card up above for the City Skyline series where um, I have a city that's now at 100k population. It took a while. <laughs> My computer is begging for mercy at 100k population. So the goal with that city was to get it to 200k because I already had a previous 100k city. But We'll see if we can actually get it to 200k. So, yeah, that's it. All social media links down in the description below, you guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitter so I can update you guys on this series and other series that will be on the channel. I hear this. Oh my lord. Yeah, the street in the middle of the road. It's bugging. Ah, oh, frick. As I was saying, yeah. See you guys <coughs> in the next one. Be sure to follow me on social media. If you guys want to see me live stream, I'm usually live on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. On Twitch, occasionally I'll stream on YouTube. If I'm really feeling the YouTube stream vibes, I'll be streaming on YouTube. But you guys can catch me on my regular streaming channel on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ashbossgaming. Links down in the description below. See you guys in the next one. Ashboss is out. Peace.